Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where I can still be seen wandering the halls of IFA 2019 here in Berlin, Germany. Huawei blew me away with their keynote about their vision for the future of 5G. But if I'm honest, what I really love about it here is it offers a small glimpse of our immediate future, which begins, of course, with Black Friday and Cyber Monday in a few months, to the holiday season and beyond. And it seems that connected living is already here. And everything from toasters, microwaves, ovens, fridges and even vacuums are all smart devices now. On the downside, of course, there are many solutions still looking for problems rather than the other way around. And 8K TVs, yeah, sure, they look fantastic. They look out of this world. But nobody has any content to put on them at the moment. And also Huawei's FreeBuds 3 earphones. On paper, they are far technically superior to Apple's AirPods. But when you look at them side by side, they look identical. And I cannot help but think that they missed a bit of an opportunity there to not just be technically better, but also offer a unique design too. Although this year's IFA is all about consumer technology, there are also a few lessons to learn for businesses too. For example, video conferencing has picked up a bad, bad reputation over the years and many of those reasons were perfectly captured in that Zoom ad a few years ago. But over at Jabra, they believe that a limited field of vision can be a part of the problem too. Because you're essentially cutting employees out of the conversation. That's seriously not cool in an age of inclusivity, where everyone should now feel a part of the collaboration process. So by cutting people out, you're quickly going to damage the morale within a team. And these are just a few problems that Jabra are aiming to tackle with its Panacast video, which offers a high quality 180 degree view of a room of any size and can also quickly adapt to the number of people present. But that's only just the start of it. It's incredibly cool because it also provides useful analytics around how every room is actually being used and how many people are present in there. Certainly feels like a step in the right direction. And there really seems to be a stark contrast between the large stuffy meeting rooms of old and those smaller collaborative huddle rooms for impromptu conversations. And I think it also highlights just how much our world has changed. And businesses that are able to unite their remote teams with those in the office, they are the ones that will naturally become more efficient and more productive. But what will happen to those that stubbornly carry on with their old ways of working? So, with all that in mind, I dropped by the Jabra stand today at IFA and I wanted to talk about a new product that they've unveiled here. So here, take this press pass and join me on the show floor because it's time for me to beam your ears all the way to IFA 2019 in Berlin. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little more about who you are and what you do? Yes, of course I can. My name is Tani Tuft and I work as a global product marketing manager for Jabra in uh, the headquarters in Denmark. And we're going to have people listening from all over the world, and some have never been to IFA before. Some may have not heard of it, although I'm sure most people have. But how would you describe IFA, and what is it that you love about it so much? Well, IFA is our chance to meet all of the uh, consumers and all of our customers and the press face-to-face. So it's basically the place where all all the people go to see all the big news. Um, So it is an exciting atmosphere, uh, lively and great atmosphere and uh, great vibes all around. There really is. You can just feel it in the room or in in all of the many, many halls there. Yeah, exactly. But when I I came past your booth there, uh, the Jabra booth several times, and it was always heaving, always so much activity and all your people were always taken up. And it quickly occurred to me that Jabra appears to be on this mission to take the next step forward in true wireless innovation. So can you tell me a little bit more about that and your new product, which I I believe is the Elite 75T? 
You're 100% correct. It's the Elite 75T. Uh, and yeah, there is tons of people in the booth. It's, uh, it's amazing to see all of the attention that that small, small product can uh, bring us. Because the Elite 75T is small. It's very small. So um, the Elite 75T have been made with uh, comfort and fit in mind. And we're building on the very successful Elite 65T. So we're bringing in all of the components and all the speakers and all the good experience that you know from the 65T into the 75T, but we're focusing on fit and comfort. So we're making it smaller, actually 22% smaller than the 65T, but we're increasing the battery time with nearly 90%. So we're going from 15 hours on the 65T to 28 hours in total battery time on the 75T. So we're creating 65T in a smaller vessel or in a smaller size without compromising on any of the fundamentals. Now, I apologize in advance for mentioning some of your competitors here, but everyone knows about the Apple Airbuds. Yeah. And I was recently at IFA, I was in the keynote speak there, and Huawei had re- released their FreeBuds 3. Uh, and they were t- talking about how superior they are in sound quality to Apple's products, you know, fighting against each other. But then they unveiled them. And the first thing that I noticed were they're almost identical in appearance to Apple's AirPods. And this got me thinking... Why are they not trying to create something completely different and with their own unique design and something that doesn't look like the end of an electric toothbrush uh, <laughs> plugged in your ear, you know? And this, the, I mean, the Elite 75T is absolutely stunning because you, ha- you, you can just slot it in your ear. Like you say, it's not just the comfiness. It's, it, the appearance is so much more appealing, isn't it? It is, for sure. It's like, like you say, the, uh, some of these other uh, brands have a toothbrush-ish appearance in your ear, whereas the Elite 75T is so, it's so delicate and you won't hardly notice it in the good way. Uh, so that's one of also a key factor when they come to the size. Uh, we do see that a lot of the users, new potential users, when they're buying true wireless products, they're looking for comfort and fit uh, as the main f- uh, feature when they're buying a new product. And we truly believe that we're solving this with the Elite 75T. And we also believe that we're opening up the market for new users that maybe have been stuck in, I need to wear a uh, toothbrush in my ear because I can simply not fit in a normal true wireless product. So now with the 75T, we believe that people with small ears will also be uh, capable of using these headphones. But we also guarantee you 100% that if you had a successful experience with comfort and fit on the 65T, you will also have that on the 75T. I'm curious though, what have been your biggest challenges that you've encountered when trying to develop this product? Has, Has there been anything you've had to overcome? Well, there have been a lot of challenges. You can just imagine all of these small components that goes into creating a true wireless headset and then decreasing the actual size of the product with 22%, but still keeping all of the same uh, experiences. So without doing any compromises on top of increasing the battery time as well, that have been a really big challenge. So the actual miniaturization of the product have been one of the biggest one. So we have done this by implementing a new low power Bluetooth chipset. So this is smaller size, but it also allows us to use a smaller battery, um, but increasing the actual battery time. So that's one of the key things by miniaturization of the product. Another thing is that our uh, R&D guys, the guys in development of the products, they have sit, been sitting and playing a 3D game of Tetris, trying to stack all of the, uh, all of the features and all of the compo- components on top of each other inside this small, small earbud. So that has been really, really challenging. I love that approach that you've taken there. And for any innovators or founders that could be listening, what do you think the secret is to finding that right approach to uh, not only discovering challenges, but overcoming them? Well, 
first of all, we had to investigate what are the users currently looking for. We could also have chosen to make a gigantic headset fold up with uh, different specifications. But if users are not looking for these features or specifications in a headset, then it's not relevant. So that's, first of all, we started with investigating the market to see what are the users actually looking for right here and right now. And then going into saying, okay, so we know that comfort and fit is one of the key things that they're looking for, but we cannot compromise on the sound quality because Jabra is known for good calls and music quality. So we are not compromising on that in any of our products. But we also need to increase the battery time because that's the second feature that people are looking for. First comfort and fit and then battery time. So we needed to, to be really good on the battery time as well. And then it was then taking it from there. We have also worked together with GN Hearing, our sister company that creates hearing aids in order to do the most optimal solution for the connection. And we've also gotten some new antenna designs from GN Hearing in order to create an even smaller product. So it has been a lot of investigations and pre-work before we went into the actual design and creation of the product. And it seems that you guys at Jabra have been on an incredible journey to get where you are right now. So I've got to ask, I mean, what makes this product unique from everything else out there? We've touched on one huge factor straight away, which is you're not walking around with a toothbrush in your ear, what appears to be that. But for people that are on the market looking for a decent pair of mobile headphones that they can listen to music on their commute to work, but equally when they're exercising, what is it that that sets uh, this product apart from others out there, do you think? Well, I think in general, I I have to say that we can cover all of the necessities in a true wireless product and we can do more than cover it. We can also do it in a superior way. So not only are we giving the users an excellent experience within music when they're listening to music or watching their movies or uh, videos on Facebook, on the commutes, but we also given them a consistent voice experience. So no matter where they are, they will have a good voice experience. We have wind protected microphones, which is a key thing for the Elite Series and the Elite 75 t which means that even in windy and noisy environments, you will have a really clear, clear transmission of voice. Uh, so the people in the other end of the call would be able to hear you really clear. Then we have a lot of uh, good stuff coming from our sister company, um, GN Audio, so or GN Hearing. GN Hearing knows how to create good sound, so they know how sound should be heard from hearing aids. And also because we have the our enterprise company, we know how good audio should be transmitted. So how to cancel out surrounding noises. Just imagine a call center, how many people that can be sitting there talking at the same time, but you should only transmit your own voice. So we're using all of these technology and putting it into a consumer product, which makes it quite special and very competitive. Besides that, we also have an IP rating of 55 on the Elite 75T, which means that it has very high durability and you can use it outside in the rain. You can also use it for light workout and so on, which gives us a competitive edge. And are there any trends or myths that you would like to bust today about true wireless? Because I've heard you, you mention true wireless a couple of times there. I'm curious, are there any insights you could share on that? So at least the trends that we're seeing in the market is that it's an exploding market. It's increasing in a path that nobody could have expected. So that's a big, big trend. We also see a trend of, um, for example, noise cancelling coming into true wireless headsets. We're also seeing the trend of um, creating products that are more for more specific use, so either sports or uh, office use or similar kind of um, experiences. Um, but it also seems like it's a more lifestyle product and starting to become more mainstream. Um, some of the myth within true wireless is that when you have the earbuds inside your ear, 
will not be able to transmit proper audio because the microphones are too far away from your mouth. Well, that's at least not accurate. I will promise you and guarantee that with the 75T and the 65T as well, you will have perfect voice transmission. And innovation is a key theme here at EFA. So I've got to ask, what does innovation mean to you guys at Jabra? Well, innovation is everything and we keep, keep improving our products. So you might buy the 75T when it comes in stores in mid-October, but it will keep improving over the time. We keep uh, focusing on pushing out new firmware to our products to give the users a better experience with the products, even though it's a year old product. We send out the firmware in our Sound Plus app. Uh, in the Sound Plus app as well, you can find different features like uh, hear through, which is really important when you have a th true wireless headset on that does not have the same open uh, factor as a airport, for example. Then you need to have the functionality of hear through so that you can actually hear your surroundings because it will have a, a noise isolating fit when it's an in ear product. So if you use it when you're biking, for example, or just walking, you can let, uh, let noise come in, but you can also choose to let it not and be totally immersed in what you're doing. So for people listening to us that cannot attend VE for this year or visit your booth, what's your main intention for attending EFA? What's the key message you want people to walk away with? And also, what does the future look like for you guys? Well, the key message is definitely that comfort and fit is really, really important. So with the 75T, we're promising a good audio experience due to the fact that we have kept the same microphones, kept the same speakers, everything as from the 65T. But it fits better inside your ear and therefore gives you a better experience as well. Besides that, we've also put in a pressure relief vent in the product that removes pressure from the inner ear and gives you, by default, a better experience if that is an issue people previously have had with the 65T, for example. But the key message on EFA is, well, how do you go around and live with a pair of cabled headphones? You have to get into Bluetooth. You have to get into wireless. And why not true wireless? It's all about the true wireless here at EFA. And it's all about the comfort and fit on the 75T. Well, you guys at Jabra have got so many different products out there and not just consumer tech either. I did mention in the intro yeah. about the great work you're doing with Panacast and transforming meeting rooms and huddle rooms. Yeah. But for anyone listening that wants to find out more about any of the products that you're doing there, what's the best way of finding out more information and equally contacting a member of your team if they are left with any additional questions? Well, for sure, a good approach is to go into our websites and we have local websites for countries. So I would not recommend you, since I'm Danish, just to go into the Danish website. That could prove to be a bit difficult. <laughs> but on the Danish website, for me, there would be a link into our service center that would be able to help you with any or all questions. And similar we have for all other countries as well. So a visit to our websites where we have excellent FAQs or how-tos and guides and uh, different kind of material on, on all of our products, that would be a very good place to start. Excellent. Well, I'll add all those links to the blog post that will accompany this episode over on my website, techblogwriter.co.uk slash Jabra. And I'll also add a few images just so people can visualize that so much more aesthetically pleasing they are as well compared to those toothbrush earphones. But I will get that on the website for people to see. And more than anything, I can only appreciate how busy you are at EFA. I've seen how busy your, your booth is. So taking the time to come and speak with me today, I really appreciate it. So thank again oh you're so so welcome thank you for taking the time to stop by and see our amazing products the jabra show booth was significant in size and incredibly busy here at ifa 2019 in berlin but i'm curious i know a lot of you listening all over the world would have been streaming the event and reading all the big headlines coming out of berlin what are your thoughts about ifa 2019 and indeed everything that we talked about regarding jabra today 
or, of course, anything that you've seen or read over the last few days. I personally wrote an article on The Next Web and Tech HQ about my time at IFA, and you can check those out. And there was also the Smart Blender episode yesterday, too. But that's it for me at IFA. But I want to hear your thoughts, too. So please, email me directly, techblogwriteroutlook.com. Visit my website, techblogwriter.co.uk. Stick a slash and jabber it on the end, and you'll find today's podcast over there with all the links that we've talked about, too. But it's time for me to fly back to the UK now. So a big thank you for listening. And until next time, don't be a stranger. Thank you for listening to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast with Neil C. Hughes. Remember, technology works best when it brings people together.